Hello and welcome to the last card in my Christmas series for 2018. This card's going to be an ink blended one with a um, scene with a deer and trees. I thought I'd better do a scene card. They seem to be quite popular and so did the ink blended one. So I hope you'll enjoy this one. I'm starting off with a card base that's made with a Tim Holtz watercolour paper. Um, I think it's some, one of the easy ones to be able to do the ink blending on. And I'm using this die set that I bought from AliExpress. But if you've already got um, tree dies and deer dies, then just use those. I'm sure you'll be able to make a scene up with, with whatever you've got. The only dies that I'm going to be using for this card are the two different sized um, birch trees and the standing deer. Now there is a snowbank or a um, hill type border die in the set but I decided I'd make a more jagged sort of um, snowbank with this Inca Dinka Do masking paper so I'll just tear a piece off the bottom of one of the sheets, um, doesn't really matter how jagged it is just with a slight rise for the snowbank. <laughs> And I was going to put it on to the bottom of my card but then realised that I really should do the sentiment first um, so that, that that's done on a nice clean piece of card. So uh, I put that into the Misty and I'm going to use this Joycraft um, sentiment set. It's got all sorts of sentiments but I've got, it's got a couple that are quite suited to snowy scenes so I'm going to use one of the snowy sentiments on that and I'll stamp that with Versafine Onyx Black Ink and Clear Embossing Powder.
I'm just going to use a piece of painter's tape to just protect the bottom underneath the masking and also use a piece at the top just to hold it in place while I start the inking and then when I get to the top I'll peel that off so that I don't get a line left. To do the inking today I've got this the new um, Distress Oxides. I've resisted buying any of them up till now because I didn't feel like I was using my other ones enough but for the blending apparently it's supposed to be a lot smoother and more creamier going on so I thought it, with this card I might just give it a go. So I'm using Blueprint Sketch here and one of the Ranger mini round blending um, tools and I'm going to just start off just above all over the masking where the snow bank is going to be and then um, work my way up just um, being a lot darker at the bottom and lighter at the top so I'm just keep going with the blending just building it up and building it up little bit by little bit don't just, don't be too heavy handed with it and you'll get the result you want the sink is definitely um, goes on a little bit bit more smoothly you don't get the same um, circle marks that you do with the other distress sinks but uh, um, saying that I don't think you get quite as deep a colour as what you did with with the distress sink so you know they've got good bad things and bad things I think. Now while I'm doing the ink blending I wanted to ask um, your opinions on um, the timing of my Christmas card series. Um, in the last couple of years I've done them November, December and I just wondered whether that's a little bit late for when people are wanting to do their Christmas cards. So um, I wondered about whether October, November might be better. Um, if you have an opinion on that I'd love you to leave a comment in the comment section underneath the video here um, and then I can decide next year by whether people would prefer October, November rather than November, December to do the um, card series. So I spent quite a bit of time um, blending over and over and over until I had the depth I wanted. I wanted it to be quite a strong contrast to the white trees and deer that I'm going to put on it so I wanted it deeper at the bottom, lighter at the top but still quite a strong contrast so um, keep at it and keep at it until I was happy. I then cut out and embossed two of the large trees and two of the smaller trees uh, and the deer and I used the same paper just so that my whites were all the same and the Tim Holtz watercolour paper is quite white so I made sure that I used some scraps of that to cut the other parts out so that it was all quite white against the blue. And then it's just a matter of gluing them onto the card. When I first saw the larger of the trees in this die set I thought my goodness it's a really big die but I think it's actually really clever. It's done so that you can cut it at different parts and make the tree look quite different so you can have it closer to the top or you can chop some of the top off and have it further down so um, I haven't done it for this card but you can definitely make the trees look quite different on the card so quite a clever die. I wanted a big one and a small one 
either side of where the deer's going to go just so that the little one looked like it was in the distance and the bigger tree is closer and then I'll pop the deer into the middle While you watch me finish off gluing the trees on the card, I wanted to thank each and every one of you for making my 2018 such an amazing year. I passed a really amazing milestone of 10,000 subscribers this year and my channel has just grown and grown and you people just make it the most amazing community with all your lovely comments, um, encouragement and you're just amazing. So thank you very much, everybody. I trimmed off any of the overhanging branches off the side of the card um, just to give it a finished look and then went ahead and stuck the deer into the, the middle there and then I popped a, a star shaped sequence that I had I've had this packet of um, sequins for years and years and years in my stash and I've hardly used them so I thought that it would be perfect for putting a star up into the sky um, and just make it a little bit more Christmassy looking Don't ask me where I got them from, it was such a long time ago, um, I wouldn't have a clue, but in some sort of craft shop years ago. So that's this card finished. I'll just show you a purple version that I also did um, using the Distress Oxide Wilted Violet. I just wanted to try a couple of the um, oxides just to see how they went. So this is the purple version. So do have a merry and safe Christmas everybody um, and I'll see you in the new year with some new ideas hopefully. Bye for now.